Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to walk you through a quick example of how to calculate present value uh, in Excel and also a quick uh, tutorial on the BA2 Plus calculator. So let's jump right into it. Here's the example we have. Here's the question. It says, what is the present value of $1,500 payment made one year from now? So if we expect to make a payment one year from now or receive a payment one year from now, but what is that present value? And that's what we're going to try to do. And we just have this one year component in there. So I've already popped Populated some of the given uh, facts for this question here. Uh, N equals the number of periods. Uh, in this case, we're dealing with the years here. So we have one year. Uh, the interest rate per year, IY is 8%. Also, the discount rate, that's uh, sometimes it's known as R. Uh, the present value is what we're trying to get. Uh, the payment uh, in between uh, this period is zero and the future values given here is 1500. So this is our components that we have for a question here. So if we look at uh, trying to find a solution for this, we can do this uh, in fact three different ways. Uh, we can walk through uh, uh, an equation uh, to solve this. We can walk through uh, the function provided in Excel and I'll show you finally how we do this on the BA2 plus calculator. So here's the equation. Some of you guys may have seen this in the textbook before. It says present value equals the future value divided by one plus R to the power of N. So if we walk through this uh, example here and we put these numbers into uh, Excel, okay, let's just lose that guy. The present value, okay, is going to equal Okay, so this is going to say the future value. Well, the future value is $1,500 uh, divided by 1 over, uh, so this is going to be 1 plus R. We have R here. This is our, our, our discount rate, our interest rate. Okay, close parentheses, and now it says to the power of N. I mean, so we could put this in to the power of 1. I mean, we know we don't have to put this in, uh, you know, anything to the power of 1. Uh, it's simply going to be... Uh, the same answer is if we did not put that in, okay? So we hit enter, it says the present value equals $1,388.89. So that's one way we could do it uh, through the equation. Uh, the second way we could do it, okay, uh, is through uh, the function in Excel. So we could hit equals, uh, and this would say present value. We can open up this parenthesis here. And you're gonna see here on the bottom here, we're gonna have rate, number of periods, okay? PMT future value and type. Okay, so if we start with the first one here, it says, well, what's the rate? Well, the rate's going to be 8%, comma, uh, number of periods, we just have one, comma, payment. Well, we don't have a payment, right? So the payment's going to be zero. We could simply just hit a uh, comma again. We're not going to have anything uh, that goes in there. And then the future value is going to equal 1500. Uh, and we could stop there. The last one, uh, the last input we have is type. Okay. And this type uh, indicates whether uh, the payment is at the beginning or end of year. The default for uh, Excel is it's going to be zero. It's going to be at the end of the year. That's going to be zero. So we could put this in if we wanted to. The default is going to be zero anyway. So if you don't put that in, that's fine. And if we hit enter, you're going to see that we have the same uh, number here. So it's 138889. Now you're going to see this is a negative number. So in this PV uh, calculation in the function, uh, it matters or it takes into account what this future value is denoted in. So if we interpreted this, you know, if I'm going to receive $1,500 one year from now, I'm going to make that payment. Well, I should, uh, I should be uh, accepting or, or willing to pay uh, $1,388.89 at, uh, at an 8% discount rate. So that's the way we, uh, we calculate it either through uh, the equation or the present value function, okay? The last way I'm gonna show you here is through the BA2 plus calculator. So I'm just gonna go on here, I'm gonna clear all this guy out, okay, second clear, okay? So all of our uh, time value of money functions we wanna do this second clear time value of money functions, everything will be cleared out within the calculator. So if we start in calculating what the present value is, you can see here I, I put these in a sense uh, or in a way that everything is uh, the same as the, uh, as the calculator here. So how many periods do we have? We have one period. Uh, what's our IY or discount rate we're going to use? We're going to use 8%. 
Okay, we're trying to solve PV, so we're gonna come back to this guy in a second. What is our payment? Our payment's zero. We don't have any payment during that uh, one year span. And what's the future value? Well, the future value is gonna be uh, $1,500. So we put all that into the calculator. Again, we're gonna come back to this present value. How do we calculate present, present value? We press compute uh, present value. And there is, is the same number that we calculated before, 1388 uh, and $1,388.89. So those are three different ways you can calculate uh, present value. This is a fairly simplistic example with just simple one cash flow, right? We just have, hey, one year from now, I'll go through some more complex examples and changing cash flows as things go forward. But that's a, a simple way, uh, a simple example and three different ways for you to calculate present value on Excel and through the BA2+. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you have any comments or feedback, please let me know. Thank you.